it is very easy to get carried away with you know what everybody else is doing are you watching things that would edify you i think most of the time it's just in your head no one really cares and if you're busy out there being somebody else then who's going to be you at the end of the day oh. that part hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is success the success carter and if this is my first time on your screen please don't make it your last i would like for you know you guys to join the fam over here we keep it cute and if it's not welcome back og so today is all about confidence all about building confidence and you know building confidence is something i want to talk about today i can't even lie i got this topic inspiration from like one of the comments on my recent videos you guys know that when i do my lagos living vlog it's always you know very fun very light-hearted we have fun yada 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 but when it comes to like my sit down videos i always notice that you know people just you know maybe connect to me and it connects enough to be safe to share their experiences i do not take that for granted and i am really happy that you know these people that I probably do not even know from anywhere choose to you know just you know pour their hearts out and you know just talk about the issues that they face i do not take that for granted i thank you for feeling so comfortable and trusting that i would not you know laugh in your face and all of that and i'm really grateful that my page is like a safe space for you guys to do that so i got the inspiration to talk about this today and just give like my two cents on it using myself as like a personal example i don't want to talk about this topic of confidence in obscurity i want to refer it back to myself and like what i have done and things i put in place for you know me to succeed when it comes to showing off my confidence i always haven't been here i'm not where i want to be but you know the progress is made and, and the progress continues to be made so without further ado let's not ramble too much let's get right into the video today i'll be giving you my top five tips that would help you build your confidence and i'll be using me as a case study the first point i would like to make is to love yourself now this seems like a basic point and if you literally watch like any of my video you know that i always hammer on this point and the reason why i'm hammering on this point is not you know for repetitive purposes i'm not just saying this for like saying it sake i'm saying this because it kind of has to do with like the foundation of you know everything else i'm i'm talking about love i'm talking about love yourself and it's one man tried to me that you always have to love yourself and you always have to put yourself first in the words of the world famous taraji p henson she says and i quote i gotta, I gotta put, put me first and that is like the energy i would like you to like put forward into like loving yourself at the end of the day you're the only one that has got you i'm sorry to say but even your mother your father they haven't got you like you've got you only you know where you know it pinches in your shoe only you can understand you fully no one else can do that not even your best friend not your none of that so what i want you to do is to you know take the time out from all the noise pull yourself back and just you know come into a moment of like solace and figure out who you are and what you like what do you like what do you not like how would you like to be treated how would you like to not be treated you know taking this time out is not just for play we didn't come here to play we have come to seek and search into our souls to really know what we're all about and i feel like once you're able to you know ask yourself these questions once you're able to soul search and you know figure out what you like and what you're all about it's just easier to you know love yourself because the foundation has been used and i noticed that if you have self-love in yourself if you love yourself so much you'll be confident to do certain things and you'll be confident to tell someone no that is not how i want to be treated so loving yourself is like the foundation that you need to building your confidence you cannot be confident without you know loving yourself then what do you want to be confident about now when we've like loved ourselves and we've built this foundation the next thing i'll need you to do is to edify yourself now i've been really blessed and fortunate to have like a mother that you know kind of looks out for me when i was growing and she was like i mean is that not what like <laughs> is that not what like every mother is supposed to do but like i'm just saying that one thing i took with me to my adult age was that you know 
when i'm watching something on a tv she kind of like look at me and be like oh does this thing really edify your soul does it edify your body and i kind of took that with me and you know kind of it kind of formed like a protective barrier to like everything else now the question i would like to put to you is are you watching things that would edify you or are you watching things that would ultimately take away from what you already do have ask yourself these questions and it is very very important for you to always stick to what will edify you this even comes to like what you're watching and you know social media in general now when you're on social media do you follow people that just are out to pepe you or <laughs> out to just make you feel less of yourself or do you follow people that you know you actually connect with and would actually you know teach you one or two things and that would actually inspire you to be better or are you just there for a preparing game are you there just looking at all these blogs that are saying oh if he pines he did we pines he did you know a vlog it, it's just it's a lot <laughs> what i want you to do is remove yourself from things that you know edify you now moving on to the show aspects what are you watching that actually edifies you the shows you're watching believe it or not will probably play a part in whether you're self-confident or not and i'll take myself as an example since we're using me as a case study i mean when i was in the university i obviously you can see through your screens that i'm a very feminine presenting man and apparently that is not something that you should be proud of in nigeria yeah no. <laughs> i digress but you know i found this very early on and you know no one really called this to my attention until like later in life like when people said you know making it weird for me and you know one show that really helps me you know overcome this was like drag race and you know it just basically will talk about like being a feminine man and you know the struggles we face and how to overcome it now this show helps me a lot in building my self-confidence because i was able to probably see myself in these characters and see how they ultimately overcame what they were overcoming and i like took that into my life i edified myself with that now you can't tell me nothing are you dumb <laughs> you can't you can't make me feel bad that i am a feminine presenting man because i'm going to come to your face and i'm going to literally snap at it are you dumb what are you doing <laughs> so you know that is putting into perspective that you have to edify yourself you always have to choose things or watch things that would edify you rather than grabbing snatching and taking away from you so that is like the second step to you know building that confidence of your dream the third step after edifying yourself would be to just do it now i know this might sound a little bit tricky especially when you're not like in a stage where you feel like you're confident to do what you want to do but always look at it from this perspective let's say you're applying for like a job and you like went to school for that so what have you done you've built a portfolio in order for you to you know maybe want to apply for that job it's literally just the same in case here when you want to do something just do it because when you've done it you've now created that you know portfolio for yourself that you know you can look back and say oh yes i've done it so what is hard about that circling back to me as an example but i've always wanted to you know create like a youtube channel where i just talked about you know things that bothered me and things that were not like short form content and you know for the longest time i was always like oh it's so it's like mm -hmm, how am i going to mm -hmm, how am i going to mm -hmm. but now i did it and it became easier for me when i recorded my first video when i was able to get that video out of the way i was just like i mean what is here i've done this before i can do it again so just throwing yourself into the deep end would help you to you know be able to look back and say oh i've done it before i can do it again in that process is really like encouraging you to be you know confident in what you can do and what is your ability because i mean you've already done it at the end of the day so you know just throwing yourself into the deep end and just doing it and not procrastinating would help you to build confidence the next step i will always opt for is to stop getting embarrassed now i see a lot of people especially you know in this day and age where like social media is very rampant and you're just like oh my god i don't want to appear cringe i don't want to do that because you know people are going to perceive me this way <sighs> I, I don't know how to put this in a very nice way no one really cares to be honest no one 
actually gives a shit about that <laughs> because at the end of the day you want to do something and when you're doing it so far you're not hurting anybody you should not be embarrassed about doing it and 90 percent of the time it's not that what you're doing is even embarrassing it's just you that's embarrassed for you it's just you that's embarrassed no one really cares about what you're doing 90 percent of the time it's just in your head once you start doing it people would probably not even give a shit or like react to it because i'm just like yeah <laughs> people have seen people do that before let's take for example you want to like create content like outdoor like me i love creating my content outdoor and i had to build myself into that mental state to be able to be like even though i have people looking at me i'm going to turn them into an audience for me so the mindset of you know maybe oh it's going to be so cringe people are going to be looking at me turn that around on them and make them feel like they are the audience watching you giving them a show if someone is paying you millions of naira for like a performance are you not going to give them a performance are you not going to give them you know the va va voom <laughs> so just switching your mindset to oh this boy looking at me that is cringe to so they are looking at me to you know give them a show that would literally like tweak something and change something and you will see that you've overcome like the fear of being cringe because my business of the time like i said before nobody cares and you're just embarrassed for yourself so yeah let's take a step back from the cringe and embarrassing aspect and just do it because at the end of the day once you learn to push past that narrative that you know it's embarrassing i can't do this i'm so embarrassed you will do more stuff and you do you will do it well <laughs> moving on to the next point after you've done all i've said above just always remember that authenticity is key at the end of the day you have to be yourself at the end of the day being yourself would make you confident like i said before you know in loving yourself you have to you know find out what you do like and what you don't like what you're all about and that is channeling it back to this point you always have to be authentic in yourself and just do what makes you happy and put out what makes you uniquely you because you see that if you're faking this thing you will attract the wrong crowd of people and then you will now be you will now be disappointed that oh my god they, are, they don't really like what i actually really do like because i've sold them a fantasy that you know i like this other thing why i actually like this other thing so in order to just cut the crap just be authentic to yourself and you see that what you have done is to attract the right people to you and you know these people that actually connect with you will you know relate with you in a way that is similar and you also be building confidence from that because you know like many people that interact with each other be like, oh what you're doing is right what you're doing is correct you see those um boosting on those positive comments will just help you build your confidence to that level where you're like okay since i'm uniquely doing this and people actually like it i can do more of it and you find out that you're confident so authenticity is something that it should never ever be compromised just be yourself because at the end of the day no one else can be you and if you're busy out there being somebody else then who's going to be you at the end of the day yeah i know i said i'm going to give you like five points but i just want to add a bonus one because i mean when have i never not so the last point i would like to give is to always remember to celebrate your wins i cannot even emphasize this enough because you find out people of today are so stuck in what is going to be that they don't take out time to you know just appreciate where they are like i said before in the beginning of this video i'm not super where i am meant to be i'm not where i need to be but i'm not where i was yesterday progress has been made and instead of me being in that mind space where i'm just like oh my god i'm not gonna do this people are doing this no i simply just look back reflect and you know appreciate where i've gotten to and how far i've come because it's literally not the same i've literally not where i used to be like two years ago and that's a big achievement and me choosing to celebrate my wins would help me to build my confidence instead of me wallowing in oh my god this person is doing this this person is doing that me just focusing on my wins would boost my courage and boost my confidence in such a way that i'll be like yeah since i could do this i can literally take on anything so you know having that mindset of celebrating your wins rather than sulking in what you don't have it's just you know will help you build the confidence of your dreams all right guys we have come to the end of today's video in today's video i talked about all things confident and i gave you tips on how to properly build your confidence 
if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and let me know in the comment steps you have been taking to build your confidence because this is a whole conversation that i would like to have in the comment section all right guys i will see you guys in the next one bye